everyone, I'm Liesl and welcome to Elsek in the Chair. My guest today is Daniela Zondag, a household name in the eventing industry with an impressive, diverse photography portfolio. COVID-19 has brought with it the new normal and Daniela is here today to chat to us about a lockdown 2020 drive-by project, physical distance photography. Daniela, welcome to my chair. Thanks, Liesl. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's wonderful to, to see you physically distancing on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daniela, this project of yours, how was the idea conceived? How did it start? And give us a little bit of a background on it. So, I'm not one to really sit at home, so it's really, it really hard for me to be at home and not take pictures. Um, but a little bit of a view of the ocean, so that was kind of the, the only pictures I took for a while. And then a friend's son turned seven years old, and we spoke to them, and she said all she wanted was a family picture. And I drove on my way to, to shopping. I had my little shopping bag on the Vespa, and I went past, um, and I reached, you know, I stopped in front of the house, and I reached out to ring the doorbell. And they opened and they were ready, they were standing inside. And I kind of stayed on my Vespa, you know, kind of put it on the stand. And I stayed right there to take the picture. And, and um, this friend of mine, Sam Willich, said, why don't you do this? You've made me so happy to come by and take the picture. You're not breaking any physical distance protocols. Why don't you carry on? Let's, why don't you do a project? Um, and I thought, brilliant, you know. Um, also, my sister had a, a, a baby in the lockdown. Oh, wow. And obviously, they also wanted a, a family picture. And I did the same with them. Um, we even had to include Hammy the hamster. Um, and the nice thing is people are, <clears throat> people are including their pets, you know, their dogs. Um, there's been a, some budgies, um, which is something that I also don't think you know, if you do a normal family picture, you won't necessarily get all of everybody in. Yes. So, yeah. It actually, yeah. And then it just, you know, word of mouth, um, news spread, um, and people started inquiring, and it's just, you know, it's just rolled on from there. It's just been brilliant. Amazing. But, I mean, like you said, it is a, it is a, it can either be a grand or a gritty reminder of the situation that we find ourselves in. I mean, it's easy for us. We take out the cell phone and yeah, take a selfie and all of that. But the fact that it's keeping to social distancing and all of that is really amazing. And it's, you're going to look at this photo a few years down the line and say, Oh yeah, that was what we went through. But look how fabulous we look because Daniela took our picture. <laughs> yeah, I must say I'm getting a, people, a couple of people now going, can we wait, maybe first wait for the hairdressers to open before, before we get our picture taken. <laughs> and I always, I always want to say, it's, it's gonna, it's, it's, don't do it. Let's first get your picture because <laughs> you remember that the grey came out and, and the hair was too long. And so, yeah. <laughs> Daniela, do you always take it on the Vespa? You don't cheat by driving in a car. It's always, you always do it with driving your, your very well-known Vespa. Uh, yeah, Gracie is her name. Um, all my cars always have names. Um, and it, it started with a Vespa and it has basically all been in this area. It has been on, on the Vespa. I was away for a little while now on work. And I went to the Land Rover and I drove past a couple of people along the road, which I obviously took out of the Land Rover. Um, but everything has been on the Vespa. On, on Sunday, I went to Paul and Wellington. Um, and it was clear skies until I got there. <laughs> and the minute I drove into town, it started raining. <laughs> I did have the Land Rover as a backup plan. Um, it was also in, in Paul. But I actually managed to get them all on the Vespa because I did kind of let the people know that it might not be on the Vespa. Would it be a problem? Yeah. Um, it looks like a pain. Yeah. And a couple of people were quite surprised that I did actually end up arriving on the Vespa. Um, but also that excitement factor, 
um, kids love it. So yeah, it's pretty much been all on the Vespa except for, for when I was away. But I mean, that's now I'm talking lung kluf, yeah. so <laughs> that's a good part, but yeah, everything's been on the Vespa. <laughs> Okay, I think you've actually already answered my question. My next question was going to be, which drive wire portrait took you the furthest away from home? So that must have been in the Paul Wellington one. Yeah, Wellington. Um, Wellington's definitely, definitely been the furthest one. Um, I do have one in France Hook. So that might then be the furthest one. <laughs> okay, Daniela, part of the funds is to help feed a community in Lavender Hill. Can you give us a little bit more background on them? Yeah, I follow a guy on Instagram called um, uh, oh, Armand um, Hoog, and he is a, his handle is The Human's Narrative. And he was documenting um, lockdown throughout lockdown. And one of the places that he documented was a, um, a feeding scheme um, for Lisa Abafasi Bethu in Lavender Hill. And they, they help feed vulnerable women and children, mm. um, mostly abused women and children. And he posted these powerful pictures of, you know, kids standing in lines waiting for food, um, which they feed. And, and it's amazing for me also to see that, that photographers have, the ability to share pictures and, and then we see these, otherwise we would, I wouldn't have seen this. Yeah. Um, so it was from another photographer that I actually got um, the idea to donate part of the uh, proceeds to, to them. Um, and Lucinda Evans that runs it is, is amazing. Um, yeah, she does an amazing job and it was just, you know, just struck a chord and I thought, this is this is because there's there's obviously there's a lot of projects during yes. lockdown that you can support, but you know this one just yeah I Was really it? wanted to support. Amazing, Daniela. Mm -hmm. Then lastly, what advice would you have for a young photographer that is just about to start out? Um, just shoot, get out there, um, take your camera with. Life changes all the time, so get to know your camera, get to know what's possible when during the day. Um, yeah, I mean, just shoot is, is basically what I also did. So, yeah. Okay, perfect. Daniela, thank you so much for your time today with us. I really appreciate it. And if, guys, if you want to get in touch with Daniela and to have your own portrait taken, the contact details will appear at the end of the video. And remember, when you support Daniela, the support is twofold. You're supporting an industry that's in dire need, but you're also feeding a community at the same time. Daniela, thank you so much. Thank you, Liesl. Lovely to see you. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Till next time, keep safe.